Hi everyone, I'm Rolling Swarm, um, esports commentator, tank streamer, and all round awesome guy. I'm here to teach you how to make magic in World of Tanks Blitz. The latest update introduced two new tanks into the game. Now these tanks have got unique mechanics. Specifically, I'm talking about two new American light tanks, one at tier nine and one at tier 10. These tanks can fire guided missiles. It is awesome, it's genius. You can fire from behind cover, outside of the enemy's line of sight. It's fantastic. As a community contributor, I constantly get to test new vehicles that are being added to the game. And I've played several hundred battles in the new American tanks. What can I say? These tanks are completely different. Anti-tank guided missiles, or ATGMs, are not like any other shell or type of ammunition that we currently have in the game. They fly much slower, have a different trajectory, and actually you can guide these missiles to wherever your camera marker is pointing at on the screen. Now you may remember that we had a similar event with missile tanks way back, way back in the past. And you might be thinking that it's going to be the same, but actually it's going to be quite different. Wargaming have completely reworked the mechanics of these missiles, and as a tester, playing many, many battles, thinking that I was in for an easy ride with missiles that I could lock on to the enemy target, I found out I was wrong. <laughs> it's not like it used to be. These missiles, to begin with, are extremely difficult to control. My first dozen, two dozen battles in the tank, I was doing terribly. My missiles were going straight, they were going off into the distance. Could I make them hit the enemy tank? Not a chance. And as I started being more cautious, more practical, using the other types of ammunition that the tank has as well, I found I was having a lot more success um, landing a lot more shots on target. And with a bit of practice, you can master these missiles. Once an enemy vehicle has been spotted, aim your gun into the air, launch the missile, and whilst the missile is airborne, move the camera marker onto your intended target. Hopefully, when everything's said and done, your missile will have connected and you will have dealt damage to an enemy that can't even fire back at you because you're behind cover, behind a hill, behind a building. Similarly, you can launch these missiles round the side of cover to the left or right. Keep your gun parallel to the ground. Once the missile is past the cover that you're behind, swing the camera marker back onto the enemy target and hopefully your missile will connect. But these ATGMs, these missiles, they're not the ultimate weapon. Sometimes it's better to switch to standard ammunition types, APCR, high explosive. In a pinch, these shells may allow you to do more reliable damage than a missile. The ATGMs, the missiles themselves though, can be fired like regular shells, head on at a target, in through the cheek of an E100, not a problem for the Sheridan. When a missile that you fired into the air is brought down onto an enemy target, it flies almost vertically in the final stages of its trajectory. This significantly reduces the effectiveness of sloped armor. Imagine you're driving this IS-7. You can take on any other tank head-on. You're a hull-down monster. You were the meta of Twister 2017. But what's this? Death from above. Like I've said, these missiles are not easy to handle. It takes a lot of practice to learn how to guide them onto your target. Besides, even if you're aiming the missile correctly, enemy tanks can hold close to cover to prevent the missile from being able to reach them. Alternatively, if the enemy tank is fast enough, looking at you, Batchat 25T, they can move suddenly to evade the missile. This is especially true if your missile is traveling over a long distance and the enemy tank has got enough time to react. All in all, ATGMs will give you a completely new set of experiences. You'll even start to think differently because things that used to be impossible will become real. Whilst your enemy is fending off attacks, you can fire from behind cover, inflict damage on the enemy and go completely unpunished. You'll even start to be able to use spots that were never intended as firing points and to launch your missiles from. And you'll be looking at maps that you've played hundreds or thousands of times before in a completely new light as you see new strategic and tactical opportunities open up before your eyes. If you eventually get the hang of using these missiles, you can learn to make some truly beautiful hits. You can fire on the move and aim even at the side of an enemy target. Oh, that was a really good shot. It's great that Blitz is offering new opportunities for how you can act in battle. 
missiles will completely diversify gameplay and offer up conceptually new strategic situations for you to think about. You constantly be looking and creating new tactical situations for yourself, working out new trick shots to pull off with the missiles, finding new situations, new positions where you can launch your missiles from. Take, for example, the art of capping a base. A large part of that is knowing where you should be in the cap circle to avoid incoming enemy fire. Now, with the missiles in game, that's going to become a lot harder. I like that. So, if you haven't tried out the new tanks in battle yet, what are you waiting for? It's a completely different gameplay experience. Unlock these new tanks as soon as you can and find out for yourself. I've been Rolling Swarm, you've been awesome. The link to my YouTube channel is in the video description below. Please subscribe, play Blitz, have fun, and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon. Bye for now.